What's happening everyone, Nick here from TV Box Top and welcome back to another TV Box review. Today's model is a certified model from Kinhank called the X6. The Kinhank brand is known for its retro gaming consoles, but today they release what I believe is their very first Android TV model. So these certified models have their pros and cons, but they are popular among viewers of paid subscription services. So Kinhank has decided to join the ranks of brands such as Mikul, Homatics, Buzz TV, and Dynalink. So let's see the features of their certified model and if it's worthy of your purchase. So don't go anywhere, that begins right after this. So welcome back and let's take a look at what's inside the box. First you have the X6 model. Next because it's a certified model it comes with a Bluetooth voice remote with Google Assistant's feature. You get one HDMI cable, a 12 volts 1 amp DC power adapter and a user guide. For design its body is made of plastic with the X6 branding to the top. For I.O., it comes with one HDMI 2.1 port, one gigabit LAN port, two USB 2.0 ports, a micro SD card reader, and its DC power socket. At the front, it has an LED power light. And to its base has four anti skid rubber feet and a couple of ventilation holes. On first startup, due to its Android tvOS operating system, you will have to complete the Google Assistant first startup wizard, which includes the pairing of the Bluetooth remote and logging in to your Google account. So by now, we are all familiar with Android TV OS, and if you are just getting started, Android TV and the mobile version of Android seen in my last video are not the same. This interface is designed to run on televisions and is navigated with a direction pad. The mobile version on the other hand is designed to run on displays that support touchscreen function and navigated with a direction pad as well as a mouse cursor. For basic system information, it shows that the box is actually the Hako Pro, which is a manufacturer we have seen featured in many certified devices such as Android car kits and Android certified projectors. Its operating system is Android 11 tvOS Hailstorm version and it comes with its Netflix ESN license. With the included remote, you can perform voice search and voice commands, and with Google Assistant, you can screen mirror your mobile devices as well as access all your smart home devices. Hey Google, office off. Got it, turning the office lights off. Hey Google, office on. Sure, turning the office lights on. And here is a mobile screen mirroring via Google Assistant. For firmware features, starting with its display, you get up to 4K 2160p at 59.94Hz resolution. It has HDR display, and it's always on with no adaptive HDR feature. However, if you would like to disable HDR, you simply set the color space settings to either YCBCR444 8-bit or RGB 8-bit and it will disable the HDR feature. It has screen position settings to adjust the display to fit the frame of your screen in the event you are experiencing overlapping due to unusual aspect ratio. It has HDMI CC feature. You can enable or disable the surround sound feature. 52 various languages to choose from, and a built-in Chromecast and Google Assistant feature. Those who are new to the Android TV operating system should know that the Google Play Store is not the same as the Play Store on the mobile version or similar to what you have on your mobile phones. The apps and games on the TV version of the Play Store are designed to work on TV displays and are navigated with a direction pad and OK button. You will find some apps and games from the mobile version, but a lot of them are not available. 
So the selling point of the X6 is its ability to run paid subscription services such as Netflix, Prime Video, Disney Plus, Max and other premium services in HD and 4K. This is possible due to its Google certification and implementation of the highest level of HDMI signal encryption called HDCP. Here its DRM information shows that it has Google Widevine Level 1 with HDCP 2.3 protection. With this certification and signal encryption, it's authorized to play services such as Netflix in HD and 4K with surround sound audio, and the same will apply to other services. Now a look at its system and hardware information. So the manufacturer is Harco, and it's an Amlogic chipset with 4GB of DDR4 RAM and 32GB of internal storage. Its Bluetooth version is 5.0. Its CPU is the Amlogic S905Y4-B CPU, which is a quad-core Cortex A35 processor clocked at 2.0 GHz configured in 32-bit mode. Its GPU is the Mali G31 with OpenGL version 3.2 support. On the network, it shows that the 5 GHz Wi-Fi band is supported. It's running on Android 11 and the firmware is not rooted. On the devices shows that its GPU has a Vulkan support API version 1.1. They disabled the temperature sensor so you can't get a reading. And under Codex, it has all the decoders for the playback of 4K HDR AV1 videos and it has surround sound audio decoders such as Dolby Atmos EAC3 and DTS HD. Unfortunately, it does not have Dolby Vision decoders in this list. So that's its system and hardware information and we will now look at how it streams YouTube videos. So YouTube videos play up to 4K 2160p at 60Hz with HDR. However, you have to remember to set the color space back to 12-bit or 10-bit in order for the HDR feature to enable. So even though the video is playing in 4K resolution, it's cropped into a 1080p frame. Its 4K HDR video playback experience is slightly different due to the lack of an adaptive HDR feature. To achieve HDR playback, you have to set the color space to 10-bit or 12-bit, this will turn on HDR, and then proceed with your media player. Here is an HDR AV1 video sample. This is a Dolby Vision video, but the box does not have Dolby Vision so it displays as HLG. Here is another Dolby Vision video with Dolby Atmos and it displays as HDR10 Plus with Atmos. This is another HLG video. And here's the same video again in HDR10 format. To test its ability to play Dolby and DTS formats, I connected it to my 7.1 AV receiver in HDMI pass-through configuration. So here it produces Dolby Atmos. Powerful moving audio that transcends from channels. <laughs> Next, it outputs Dolby Digital Plus. For DTS audio, it only outputs DTS VirtualX and not HD Master Audio. You get Dolby Surround. You don't get Dolby True HD. And the same applies for DTS-X where it displays DTS VirtualX only. Users of the downloader application that installs and works without issues. 
and users of the Kodi Media Player application that too works without issues. Its gaming performance is pretty decent, but I found that you cannot access your saved games data from Google Play Games, and when you attempt to update Google Play services, it's not happening. Users of CoreOlec can install the latest version using the S4S 905Y4 4GB DTB to boot up on this box. You can run CoreOlec via SD card or you can run it off of a flash drive or external hard drive. So to close things off, let's take a look at some benchmarks and where it places on my chart. First, it's RAM and internal storage read and write speeds. It has a RAM copy speed of 4,020 megabytes per second. Its internal storage has a read speed of 116 megabytes per second and a write speed of 74 megabytes per second. At the time of making this video, I'm experiencing low internet speeds from my service provider, so its Wi-Fi and LAN speed tests would be inaccurate. In the Geekbench 5 CPU benchmark, it scored 115 single core and 420 multi core. In the 3D Mark graphics benchmark, it could only run the Slingshot Extreme test and it scored 379. And in the Antutu benchmark, it scored 102,502. So the Kinhang XX ranks at position 34 among the other S905X4 models and it got a 3 out of 5 star rating. To view this chart, see the link in the description below. In summary, the Kinhang X6 is your typical Google certified model and it's a great inexpensive option to stream paid subscription services in HD and 4K with Dolby Atmos. It has Google Assistant and built-in Chromecast and integrates into your Google Smart Home system. It's not the mobile version, so the cons would apply, such as no navigation bar and access to the mobile version of the Play Store, and it's not rooted. So viewers, there you have it. The X6 is currently being sold on Amazon with a $10 discount coupon, making it very affordable to get a certified model to stream Netflix and others in HD and 4K. So to take advantage, see the link in the description. And as usual, give this video the thumbs up to assist with the video rating. And to show your support, the link in the description is my affiliate link, which means when you use it to purchase, I earn a commission for my review, so thanks in advance for using my links. If this is the first time watching one of my videos, then I encourage you to click the red subscribe button below this video and ring the notifications bell to receive notifications when I release a new video or decide to do a giveaway. So stay connected and see you in the next one.